Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part two of the two-story house. Let's get started. So in the last video, we created the first floor with walls, interior walls, doors, and floors. We also added the levels and the grid lines. So we're going to continue working on this going up to second floor. So before we start, I'm just going to go to modify and press align or AL for short. And then we're just going to align this on this wall. Like so. Press escape. And then now let's go to level two. And then in level two, we could select We cannot select the walls, so what you have to do is go to the properties and look for view range, which is this under extent, and then press edit. And then after this, just change this to unlimited. And then just change this one, the cut plane, to like 100,000. Click apply and then OK. And then after that, you'll be able to select the wall. So now let's select the exterior wall again. And then Click on CS or this icon, create similar. So here we are adding the exterior wall of the second floor. So we could actually select the rectangle and then up to level three, wall center line. And that's about it. I'm going to select this endpoint to this endpoint. So what will happen is we will have a master bedroom here, bedroom two, bathroom in the middle, and another bedroom right here. And lastly, we're going to add one more bedroom right about here. And this will be the stairs. And then under master bathroom, we will have the end suite. And right beside that, we will have a balcony here where this bedroom will have an access and the master ba uh, bedroom as well will have an access. So press escape and then let's select the exterior wall again and then press CS. I'm just going to add a wall here for the balcony. So I want to make sure they are aligned to each other. So I'm going to press AL like so. Af after that, I'm going to select the interior wall and then CS again. And then here we're going to add in the interior walls. So I'm going to add it like this all the way at the back. And then with this,
like that. And then we're actually gonna move this false. So I'm just gonna nudge it like so. I believe I put it too far. And move it a little bit. We could always change it afterwards. And then we're going to add one more wall. So now if you're getting confused with the walls below the underlay, so you could just go back to the properties and then change the view range or the underlay. So I'm going to change this underlay instead. So base level, none. And then just change the underlay or the view range. So bottom is associate level. And change the view depth. To associate level as well and then we could just go to underlay if we want to see what's going on onto the level one like so so this one will be good because you won't be able to select this so now I'm gonna press AL or align. I'm going to align this exterior wall to interior wall. So at least this is aligned. And also this one. I'm going to extend this. And then let's add in a wall, an interior wall similar to this. Like that. Let's add in more walls. So the master, master bathroom. like that and I'm gonna align it with this AL so I'm just extending this and then after that we could add in the door so I'm gonna change this to the single flush And you know what? We still haven't add the walls here. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna add it like this. And then the bathroom will be 1400. And then the bedroom is around 4,000. So before we add the door, uh, let's just go back to view range because if we add door right now, it's not gonna appear. So just go back to view range and set this back to associate level number two. And then the cut plane to 1200. Apply and then okay. And then now let's click on the door. 
and press escape to change orientation. So in this, there's an error because we need to move it a little bit. And then add the door here. So a space bar to change orientation. And then here, we're going to add in the sliding door on both sides. So in this side, for this bedroom, and then the master ba uh, bedroom. So something like that. And we could just use the arrow key to change, to change it later. So after that, I miss a door here, so let's add in a door, a single flash, like that. And then go back to architecture, and let's add in the floor. So I'm going to choose the pick line on this side and then use the trim command to extend this as well. Something like this and then finish. I'm going to choose don't attach for now but we could attach it later on. So we're looking good. Let's go back to level two and we could add in the stairs. So go back to level one and then go to architecture and let's select the stairs so this will be base level level one and top level level two so we're just gonna create a simple stairs and as you can see you could see that the remaining there's a remaining um, sign at the bottom so it will tell you how many riser created and how many more remaining. So I created eight and there's 10 more remaining. So I'm gonna make this equal and then I'm gonna add in a landing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and it will create its own landing and I'm just going to add it on the other side like so. So once you're done with this, you can actually edit this, the, the width. So before we edit that, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to delete the railing and then I'm going to align this one into the wall like that and then to edit click the stairs and press this edit stairs after that you, ca you can see that there's a an arrow here that you can change the width something like that so I'm gonna undo that and I'll make sure to use align command to align it 
from the wall. And then after that, I'm going to change the size on this side. And also on this side. I'm going to even them out. And then use align again. So if we look at it at our camera view, we can see what it looks like. So something like that. And we could change this railing by selecting this to a glass panel. So it looks much better and much modern. So something like that. So later on, we're probably going to change this if we create the kitchen, dining, and living room area. So we have the stairs done. Now we could go back to level 2 and edit the, we're going to create an opening. So just hover it under the wall and press tab until you select the floor. Once it's selected, click Edit Boundary, and then using Rectangular, we could just open this area up. Like that. Press OK. And just edit this side. And then actually we have to split this using this command. SL split element. And then use trim TR. And by trimming this. So it will create an opening on this area. And then you can press attach and then OK. We could now move this a little bit. So use align again to move this up to here. And then now it's showing an error. So now we need to move this back. I want to maintain 1400, but not on that side, on this side. Something like that. And now we have a better understanding on this layout. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.